Hey folks and welcome to today's video with myself Sarah Lean. Now as we're ending or as we're nearing the end of 2022 I've been looking back on the year and want to celebrate some of my highlights and some of my achievements as well. So I'd love to hear from you while I'm going through my achievements and sharing those I'd love you to post in the comments box some of your achievements and things that you're celebrating that you've achieved in 2022 so let me know what your positives are from this year. Now for me, I've been looking back over the things that I've done and the things that I've created over the year and my top video for the year has been one around Azure DevOps and Excel. Now this video is a very quick one, but it shows you how to use Excel to update or create items within your Azure DevOps boards. And like I say, it's a short one, it's not a tutorial, but it shows you the art of the possible and it's been really popular here on my YouTube channel. So thank you to everybody that has checked it out. If you haven't already checked it out, please do. You might learn something new or you might find out something fascinating. It's been great to see people that have been enjoying my content and showing what is most popular when I look at the stats for this year. So thank you to everybody that has looked at that video. And if you haven't, like I said, go and check it out. Again, my blog is very important to me. It's something that I have been doing for several years. It's something that I started off mainly for myself, mainly documenting things that I'd learned and making sure that I had a repository of things that I could look back on. Um, but again, it's always good to see what has been resonating with the audience and what has been the most popular content for everybody. And one of the most popular uh, blogs that I wrote has been one on connecting to a SQL database with Visual Studio Code. Um, and again, there's a bit of a demo in there and it shows you how to use Visual Studio Code with something you potentially have in your environment, SQL database, that you might not necessarily associate with Visual Studio Code. Because let's face it, primarily a programming tool, but we can connect to a SQL database and actually leverage that and interact with it there. So great tip there. And I'm glad that it's been um, popular with everybody. So again, thank you to folks who have checked out that blog and shared it within their communities as well. Now this year has been a bit of a turbulent one, there's been lots of different changes for me but one of the things that I am very proud of is gaining a new certification. So I regularly look at Microsoft certifications and some other vendors as well and see which ones I want to achieve for the year. Now I did start off with a bunch of exams that I wanted to achieve and I haven't quite reached all of those. I haven't quite knocked all of them off the to-do list but I did knock off this one so the Azure DevOps or AZ400 exam. So this is one I tried in 2020 and to be honest I failed it back then um, and I never went back to it. I kind of let it knock my confidence a little bit and I moved on to the next exam. So it's a big win for me to actually achieve this in 2022, um, two years after I initially tried it. Um, so yeah, another good win for me and a good one to finish off the year with. So I'm proud of that and having that um, on my resume as well. And as a lot of you will know, I did have a career move this year. So I actually am back at Microsoft. So in November, I moved back into the cloud solution architect role at Microsoft and I am beyond happy, to be honest. I am loving the role. It's fast paced, it's demanding. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot has been thrown at me um, since I started in November, but I've got a fantastic team. I've got a fantastic V team as well. Um, and I've got a fantastic set of customers that I'm talking to and engaging with. So I'm really excited to see where 2023 takes me and looking forward to um, guiding lots of people and helping me people with their Azure journeys. So yeah, I'm back at Microsoft and I'm totally loving it. Now another thing that has um, been very humbling for me this year is the community recognition that I have achieved and been recognised with. So in April 2022 I was awarded the Microsoft MVP award. It was truly an honour to receive that award, something that I had thought I was never going to achieve and to be recognised for all the community work that I have done inside the Azure space was a massive um you know, massive moment for me. It was definitely um, a bucket list item that I got ticked off when I received that MVP award for the post. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of that. Unfortunately, I have had to retire my MVP award and had to retire from that community now that I am a full-time employee back at Microsoft. But to say that I am a previous Microsoft MVP um, is a fantastic achievement and, and something that I'm very proud of. Also in August, I got um, recognised by the Lenovo Insider Programme um, for my enthusiasm around the Lenovo ThinkPad products. So if anybody follows me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll see that I'm constantly talking about how wonderful my ThinkPad laptops are. And 
yeah, fantastic opportunity there. Um, and I've got some great content coming out in January around some of the Lenovo products. So be sure to um, watch out for all of that as well. So can't wait for that. Then in September, I was actually included in a list of IT professionals um, for the community work that they have done. Um, and that was in the form of the Redgate 100 list. So 100 IT professionals or uh, IT um, engineers across the board um, were included in this community list put together by Redgate. And I was one of those. Um, and there's a very illustrious um, people on that list. So again, it was fantastic to be included in that 100. So thank you to the Redgate community for that as well. And last, but my, by no means least, in October, I was recognised for the Get Cracking Ambassador programme. So I'm part of that programme and I'm very much looking forward to creating lots of content around Get Cracking and how it can help you with your workloads in 2023. So yeah, look out for all of that in the future. Now, the number of public engagement speaking events that I did in 2022 has massively gone down if you look past in my record. Um, however, I have been able to do some really great events this year and also I hit a really big milestone as well within my public speaking career. So I've been able to speak at a few in-person events here in Scotland so it's been great to be able to do that but I've also got the chance to speak in England this year as well and that was a real privilege to be able to be back in person and deliver some sessions at Microsoft Ignite with the Microsoft team. Um, and as I alluded to there was a big milestone so my 100th talk was delivered um, and yeah it's fantastic to be able to say that I've delivered 100 public speaking talks across different user groups and conferences and I never dreamed that back in 2017 when I did my very first talk that I'd be hitting that milestone I'd be hitting that 100th talk um, but yeah it's been really fun delivering the sessions and talking to audiences and meeting them and I'm hoping to get to a few events in 2023 so if you're looking for people to speak please do reach out to me and we can have a chat about all of that. Folks thank you so much for all your support in 2022 it's been fantastic fantastic meeting you been fantastic interacting with you and learning with you as well um, I really do appreciate all the support I get no money from making these YouTube videos I get nothing from YouTube I'm not monetized I'm not one of those creators that are so any likes, any comments, any shares that you do, any subscribing, <laughs> anybody that subscribes to the channel, all means the world to me. So thank you so much for supporting me and hopefully we will meet again in 2023 and all have a fantastic new year. So yeah, thank you again for tuning in folks and I'll catch you very soon. Mm -hmm.